Hey everybody, it's Pookie TVX. Uh, gonna talk the ending of this R. Kelly documentary that he had. Uh, they just finished up with last night. Um, yeah, I wanted to sit and uh, rap about that, man. And give my thoughts on that, which uh. Really ain't nothing changed. It's the same shit, man. Same shit that I feel happened, man. It's like a, I'm bad. It's raining out here today. It's unusual out here. But um, um, as you know, as watching the end, I want to give um, big shout out to the mom that put her feet to the fucking ground and went and banged on hotel doors about her daughter, man. And got her daughter about that motherfucking situation, man. I wanna I wanna give a big ups to that, man, cause that's how you go get your motherfucking kid, man. You don't go there and sit down and, and, and don't take no, uh, take nobody saying nothing about, you know, what's about yours, man. You don't, you, fuck that. She put her motherfucking feet to the ground and went and got her motherfucking kid, man. And it was an emotional scene, man, because uh, it was Mother's Day. You know, whenever a, a, um, a mom got to beg you to come back home because of a situation, man, it's just, fuck, it's just fucking ridiculous to me, man, because it ain't going to be. I ain't about to sit there and make my mom beg and cry and fuck that, man. I'm out. That's all, that's all, that's all there is to it. Ain't none of that. That's why people got, people got this shit fucked up, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's how strong this fame and money shit is, man, that people don't understand, man. This money will make you do the most ridiculous shit, man. The most, it'll take you outside of who you really are, man. And it'll put you to be in this person that you, you don't even notice, man, who the fuck, she didn't even know who the fuck her daughter was because he, he fucking um, groomed her to be like a goddamn boy. That's another situation, man. I, I, you know, that's another goddamn thing that fucked me up. That's another thing, man. Yeah, my New Year's resolution is to stop smoking these motherfuckers, man. Period. But with the stress in the world that's going on out here today, goddamn it. Lucky motherfuckers ain't smoking goddamn crack and meth out this motherfucker. But, um... Yeah, man, I want to give a big shout-out to the mom that did that, man, that went to Beverly Hills and got her damn kid, man. And um, to everybody that, you know, that was in the documentary, that talked in, in regards to the documentary, that um, all of a sudden now want to cry and bat their motherfucking eyes and say they wish this and they wish that. And, um, man, they could fucking, man, they could... They could kiss my ass, man. If they wanted to do all that shit, they should have did that shit 20 goddamn years ago, 30 goddamn years ago, man, in the beginning, man. Instead of letting the money control their goddamn morals. Shit is fucking ridiculous, man. When, 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 when a few dollars can make you change everything you preached about your whole life, in a matter of just getting a few bucks. You'll do any goddamn thing, man. R. Kelly couldn't book no goddamn flights. He couldn't read. He couldn't he couldn't stay there and keep an eye on him and be on tour. He couldn't uh he couldn't go and physically pick these bitches up anytime or take these bitches anywhere they want to go. He had fucking helpers, man. He had handlers doing that shit. And them niggas is just as part in trouble as he is. It just don't make no fucking sense to me, man. Shit's fucking crazy, man. Shit, wow, man. He, this nigga had a whole team of people helping. 
that now want to act like they know how to change a goddamn heart after the goddamn money slow up and this is the way they can make a couple dollars by making a reality on the shit that they was a part of the fuck out my face with that bullshit man it's ridiculous man people sell their goddamn soul for this shit man And what's crazy about it is they selling their soul for this money. And money don't have no value. And it's people that would rather have the fame than the money. Ass backward shit. If I always when I was always when I was coming up, man, and, and I, you know, getting money, man. I never showboated, man. I always dressed like I was. Like I had nothing. Cause I didn't want to be that dude. I didn't want to be the one that they think, oh yeah, that's the dude with it. You can tell he with it. Look, he got all it. No. I might buy a car here or two to, to, to you know, old school to fix up or something like that. But I never wanted to be that dude, man. So I played the background a lot. But people, they they want they want the fame, man. They want their money out there so they can be a goddamn target, like goddamn Takashi Six Nine, the biggest goddamn target. All these niggas putting up bands against their ears, like they got phone, like the bands is phones and stacking, man. It's low self esteem, motherfuckers, man. They ain't got no self esteem, man. It's just sad, man. It's been going on forever, though. But yeah, back to the R. Kelly, man. Um, I don't know. Y'all tell y'all tell me what y'all think, man. I just said what I didn't think on each one of these motherfuckers, man. And um, uh, and uh, if you're not gonna support R. Kelly, then make out a fucking. You might as well get out a big ass notebook pad and make out a fucking list of all the other people that did shit like that and scratch them off the goddamn support list too. Facts. Because he ain't the only one and it ain't gonna stop there. Got a goddamn new one just came out. Goddamn Drake. Y'all gonna stop supporting him too? Doubt it. Fucking doubt it. Just imagine all these people when they go, all these stars, even from, you go from rock and roll, heavy metal, rap, when they go on these tours, you think they asking for fucking IDs when these little ass bitches sneak up in the goddamn room? You think they asking for IDs? Fuck no, they not. You think they asking for no goddamn IDs? They probably high out their goddamn mind, don't even know what the fuck they doing half the time. Talking about some goddamn IDs. Okay, so ain't no fucking liquor store. You in the back room of the goddamn whoever playing that night. Fucking ID. Get the fuck out of here, man. Girls lying. They've been doing that for years, lying, saying how, how old they is. They fucking 14, saying they goddamn 19 or 20. And now they can really pass for it because they got the shit that they eat now making them look that way. So they really can pass for it. Shit crazy, man. Don't just crucify one person when it's a hundred and hundreds of motherfuckers out there doing the same goddamn shit. The same goddamn shit. And you want to hang one motherfucker. Why? What make you hang this one motherfucker when there's other motherfuckers out there doing it too? Elvis, goddamn... Met a girl when she was 14 and um, was become girlfriend and boyfriend. Didn't mess with her until she turned fucking 18 and married the bitch. That's some fucking demonic, sneaky, grimy, patient ass shit. But hey, he's the king of rock and roll, right? Blue suede shoes and shit. Fuck out my face, man. Goddamn pedo, nigga. Pedo. Shit sad, man. I don't know, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. R. Kelly, end of the documentary. You know, to me, it's a... 
It's some shit that should have been out 20, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, when the shit first started. Could have saved hundreds and hundreds of women's, but hey, who am I? You know? The only good thing I seen in that whole documentary was when that mom put her motherfucking feet to the ground and went there and got her motherfucking baby out that goddamn hotel and didn't leave until she got her motherfucking child. That's the hardest shit I seen on that goddamn thing, man. Point blank, man. Uh, and you know, Aaliyah, rest in peace. I hope this is the end of this bullshit. They keep dragging you out and dragging you into this bullshit over and over. Just, I mean, shit. Rest in peace, baby. Rest in peace, baby. Anyway, man, y'all have a good one. Enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. God bless. Stay safe. And watch out. I'm out.